Hi everyone, I'm Darlene. Uh, for those of you who have visited my blog in the last week, you've noticed that it's been down for maintenance. So you've probably been wondering what the heck I've been doing. Well, um, as you know, I've been posting videos to my blog for about five years, and I've just felt like for the last year I've wanted to do something more. So for the last six months, I've been working really hard on a new site that I'm really, really excited about called Live Love Cards. What I've done is I've migrated all my content over from Darlene Design to Live Love Cards. And I've added some new features. I've got more efficient organization of the videos. Um, and um, the best part, the best part is that starting now, I will be posting at least two videos per week, every single week. So I am just really, really excited about getting this thing rolling. All right, so what are some of the new things? Um, well, I've organized a new gallery that you can view thumbnails for all of the cards, um, but it's organized by product, it's organized also by technique, by style, and also by theme. So let's say, for example, you're interested in um, Copic markers and you want to see all the cards that have used Copic markers. You can go to the Copic marker section and look at thumbnails for all of those cards, see which one you like, and then pick one and watch the video for it. So that's one of the things. Um, there's still all of the card videos that I've had, plus all the basic 101s that I've done over the years. Um, you know, how to get started with pigment inks, how to get started with Copic markers, card design, things like that. Then there's also all of the product reviews you know, uh, looking at embossing powders, comparing them, comparing dye inks, um, blendabilities versus Copics, all the things like that. So still all that's going to come, except now it's just going to come in more volume. Um, and then also I added a uh, area, it's a forum. So you can ask questions, you can answer questions, you can reply, you can comment, and it's, it's much more of a community. And also there's no video ads. So no more video ads on Live Love Cards. Now, later on, I'm hoping to add more fun things like giveaways, um, maybe some challenges. I want to give away some prizes. So hopefully those are things that I'm going to be adding down the road. Now, questions you might be asking are, are you going to keep DarleneDesign.com? Yes, I'm definitely going to keep my blog. However, I'm only going to be posting probably one video a month over there. Um, so whereas I'll be posting about eight at least eight videos a month on Live Love Cards. And the content that I post on Darlene Design will also be available on Live Love Cards. Another question um, might be, are you still gonna be doing the 20% donation to Foster Kids Charity? And yes, my sister and I, we, um, she has a Stampin' Up! store, and so I direct all of my blog readers to her, and anytime you make a purchase on her store, she donates the 20% commission to Foster Kids Charity. And um, up to this point, we have donated $15,000. I'm so proud of everyone for helping me and supporting me with this. So um, yes, that will continue, and you can link there from Darlene Design or from Live Love Cards. It's all the same thing. The biggest change with Live Love Cards is that it is a membership community, but the price is very small. It's only $2.50 a month. So that is less than the price of a Starbucks coffee. Um, over the course of like six months, you'd be paying $15, which say is the price of a stamp set. And then for that price, you'd get 50 videos, detailed videos, how to, how to make cards. So um, I hope that you will think it's worth it and support me. I'm going to launch the site with a special. So if you join before, well, between now and two weeks from now, so that would be January 19th, then you get the first month for $1. $1. So that's a really good deal. You can join it for $1, and all you have to commit to is the month you're paying for, and that's it. You can cancel at any time. Um, so it would be a dollar for the first month, and just use the discount code I love cards when you sign up. There are also options to sign up for a whole year at once, and you get 10% off for doing that. So that's an option for you if you want. Um, and then also, over the next two weeks, if you join before January 19th, I'm having a giveaway. So your name will be entered into a drawing to win a Stampin' Up! heat tool. This Stampin' Up! heat tool. It's my favorite heat tool. Um, it won't be this tool. I mean, I have like an official new one. <laughs> 
Um, but I love this heat tool because it has two settings on it, a high and a low, and that's really good for vellum. You can use a low setting. But anyway, so I will be giving that away for everybody who signs up in the next two weeks. So I have prepared a little mini tour of the site, so take a look. This is the home page of Live Love Cards. As you can see, the posts are similar to my blog post at darlingdesign.com where the most recent is listed first, so you can always go to the home page to see what's been posted since you last visited. At least two video posts are made every single week. Now, if you know a little bit about what you're looking for, you can visually search the gallery. Now you can go to all cards or you can search by technique, by product used, by style, or by theme. So if I wanted to, for example, see cards that were made using watercoloring technique, I could choose by technique. And I'll go to a page that has all the different techniques that have been used in videos on the site. I can see watercolor. When I click it, thumbnails of all the cards that have used watercolor on the site are displayed. So you can quickly go through them, see if there's anything that you like. And if you see one you like, you just click it and it goes directly to the post where you'll see photos, some close-ups, some explanation wording, and then the actual video, which you can view directly on the site. And um, after the video is a list of supplies with links to purchase if you're interested in that. Now in addition to the gallery, there's a basic 101 section. And this is more for educational type videos. So if you're just starting out with card making or maybe you have become interested in a new technique or a new product, you can come here for some instructional content. So some examples are card design. There's some tips and tricks on how to design elements of your card. Uh, pigment inks 101, which discusses pigment inks, how they differ from dye inks and the best ways to use them. Uh, there's a video of my photography and my video setup, how to make flowers. Um, there's a Copic Marker 101, which explains the numbering system and how to use Copic Markers. So um, there's several pages of those. All right, next is product reviews, which is really my review of new products, or a lot of times I'll do a product comparison. Um, for example, Stampin' Up! came out with some alcohol mark markers called Blendabilities, and I did a video on how they compare to Copic markers. I've reviewed the envelope punch board. I've done a marker comparison on Copic markers versus Distress markers versus Stampin' Up! markers. I've done a dye ink comparison that discusses the different brands, six different brands of dye inks and how they work and compare to each other and then I've also done an embossing powder comparison and there's multiple pages of these as well. Another exciting component of the site is the questions area. This area contains lots of questions and answers pertaining to all different categories. Um, you can search the whole area by entering your text here or you can select a category that you're interested in. So let's say you had a question about die cutting and you want to see if somebody has that same exact question. Um, you select the die cutting and then you can actually click on the questions you can see the answers. Um, you can reply yourself or you can answer it yourself as well. Um, whenever someone asks a question, I get an email and I, my commitment is to respond within 24 hours. Finally, if you scroll down, you'll see some fun pages here. I've got a list of my favorite things, my favorite products, some frequently asked questions, a whole list of gift ideas, and then some getting started information if you're just getting started into card making. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little mini tour and I hope that you are as excited about this new adventure as I am. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me. My email address is located on my blog, darlenedesign.com, so feel free to go there anytime and email me. Um, if you would like to join or check out the site, there should be a link showing up in the video box somewhere. If you're on YouTube, you can click on it. Um, or on my blog, I'll have links to go there. Um, and then also you can look in the video description on YouTube to get a link. And finally, I just want to say thank you to all of the blog readers who have been watching my videos for all these years. Um, and I hope to continue to provide you with inspiring and fun videos for many years to come. Thanks for watching.